Yeah, what they've done now is to try to maintain the, the, the history of uh, the smelter and uh, probably uh, put the stories in picture and at the same time continue with the smelting process so that as visitors come by these uh, tools that are made out of the iron that they are smelting and at the same t time tell the story about the, the Ila culture and how that uh, history is connected to the, to, to, to the history of this area. Brighton used to be a villager living a subsistence life and as many of the, the local people live off the bush, they, uh, the early people from this area are hunter-gatherers and he was hunting for his family and uh, you know if nowadays if they catch any animals or, or kill any animals they class as poachers and unfortunately Brighton was caught as a poacher and just catching a, a snaring a diker to feed his family, he was locked up for two years. Now he's uh, learnt and seen that tourism can be a, a very lucrative and important part of his life and also to assist uh, his family and the local people in the area. The site is open to all lodges, it's not just for, for Kaingu Lodge. Any lodge can send their guests there and they will pay a five dollar head fee to go have the, the whole interpretation done and then that money goes directly to the community through a community trust which we've opened up and Bright will be paid by the community trust for his sort of day-to-day -day work there but his own uh, curio manufacturing he uh, will be to his own accounts. Firewood. The local communities of course uh, have, to be, have to take keen interest because they benefit from this when tourists come uh, they generate income there is employment being created you know every tourist who visits the place four jobs are actually created and you can imagine what it can bring to our country